Hi, my name is Peter Sidarso. I play Preston, the Blue Ninja Steel Ranger, and Marvin, the Red Hyperforce Ranger. And I want to see you at the hashtag shows Angel Grove from at Power Morphicon. Hey guys, Jezzer here with that hashtag show, and today I'm going to talk about the top five things I liked about Power Rangers Hyperforce. If you're asking yourself, what is Power Rangers Hyperforce? Well, Power Rangers Hyperforce is a tabletop RPG brought to us by Hyper RPG on Twitch. If you're unsure of what that is, think Dungeons and Dragons, but with Power Rangers. The story is a sequel to Power Rangers Time Force. The story takes place in 3016 and revolves around Time Force cadets who are led by the former Time Force Ranger, Jan Scott. Together, the team must travel through time to stop the Alliance of Evil, which consists of evil villains from all over the Power Ranger universe. Let's start this countdown with number 5, The Suits. The Suits are amazing, created by Peter Sidarso who plays Marv, the Red Hyperforce Ranger. One cool thing about these suits is that they share the aesthetics of Time Force with a mix of some animals from Greek mythology. For example, a lion, a serpent, a ram, a phoenix, and a Cerberus, the three-headed dog. Next up is number four, which goes to Vesper, the first female Black Power Ranger. Not only is she the first female Black Power Ranger, but her story is pretty cool. She's a techie and a valuable asset to the team. She's aggressive, but she really cares for her teammates. And there may be even a spark between her and Eddie, the blue Hyperforce Power Ranger. Number 3, the Silver Time Force Ranger, Joe. One cool thing about Joe is he's actually the older brother of Marv, the red Hyperforce Ranger. Which is cool because Joe is played by Yoshi Sadarso, and Marv is played by Peter Sadarso. They're brothers, just like on the show. Joe has been lost for years on a mission and has to return to save his brother from the Alliance of Evil but sadly has to leave again to continue his mission. One cool fact about Joe is that he gets his name from the Blue Ranger from Gokaiger, while Marv, the Red Hyperforce Ranger, is a nod to Captain Marvelous from Gokaiger. Speaking of Marv, he makes the list at number 2 for being the first Red Asian Ranger. Marv plays the first Red Asian Ranger, which is pretty cool. Power Rangers has been known to have a diverse cast, but this is the first time that the Red Ranger has been Asian. Hats to Saban and Power Rangers for having such great representation throughout the series. And finally, at number one on my list is the story. Let's be honest, Power Rangers isn't always consistent when it comes to storytelling. Remember that pizza episode? But the story in this is great. It utilizes the whole Power Ranger universe. They do cool little throwbacks to old villains and old stories in the continuity, while also bringing back some veteran rangers and some other famous characters. Alright guys, that's the top 5 things that I loved about Power Rangers Hyperforce. What is your top 5? Leave it down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. I'm Jazzer, and if you like this video or any of our other videos, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date with everything trending in geek pop culture.